So good morning, Chris Brandt, the Beef Shaman, back out on the water. Question that was asked of me the other day. Are you the Chris Brandt that caught the 19 pound four ounce bass at Lake Miramar back in 1998? I got a message from a Facebook group, double digit bass out of Tennessee. I'm gonna answer that question for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Let's get some fish first. Man, that sun is bright this morning. Did not even. All right. There's a way to start your day. It's not a nineteen pounder. But it's nice, tell you what. That was on the green pumpkin jig. Whew. I just thrown spinner bait all along here. Got nothing. Go back with the jig and get annihilated immediately and then just miss one on the next cast. Try to jump in the boat. Right, another chunker. So back in 98, I was fishing a lot more than I do now. I mean, I still fish, you know, very often, but I was fishing like three days a week. And so my buddy Brad and I would go out trophy hunting in the spring, hitting the different lakes, you know, here in San Diego, Poway, Miramar, Dixon, you know, the, the clearer ones in our area. And we would take turns trophy hunting the bedding fish. Um, and at the time, there were a lot of double-digit fish around. And it's not like they were easy to catch, but they were pretty prolific. And so we would take turns, my turn for one fish, his turn for the next fish. And he had gotten the last one at Lake Poway. And I think it was like a 12-4. It was a really nice fish. Um, so it ended up being my turn. And we're cruising around Lake Miramar and end up seeing this log or rock off the tules and it, it ended up not being a log or a rock it ended up being a gigantic fish and so brad was actually the one who saw it but i just happened to be my turn and so we would keep on board with us during this time of the year some crawdads and live water dogs also. At the time, they were still legal to use in California, which is the uh, larval form of the, or the, you know, juvenile form of the uh, tiger salamander. And so we had this massive, massive water dog that we kept with us. It was like that big, it was like 12 inches long. So knowing this was a big fish, we'll hook up this big water dog and ended up throwing it down. And it only took a couple of minutes for this thing to turn up this way, turn around, and you see the gills flare. And from a couple of feet away, the water jog, dog just slurps right into this thing's mouth. Now, 
end up swinging on the fish. And if you know Lake Miramar, there's tulies, like kind of like cattails all around the lake. And uh, this was bedding, you know, in probably 15, 18 feet of water right off the tulies. And so it could have gone into the tulies, could have gone to deep water. It just happened to go to deep water. And the fight was on. I was using a quantum combination rod and reel, 10 pound test line, and the thing ends up coming up and jumping. And now I'm just about to, to poop myself, basically. The fish ends up jumping two more times during the fight. We finally get it to the boat. Normally you can lip a fish, you know? This one you actually had to clamp down on the jaw this way just to hold on to it because its jaw was about that big around. It was like a dowel. So pull it out of the... Pull it out of the lake. And there was a float tube fisherman fishing shiners right there. And the guy's like, wow, that's a nice fish. That's like seven or eight pounds. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you, high? So we end up taking it in to the boat dock. We were in a rental boat. We trot across the lake. Oh, that was a hit. Um, over to the boat dock, find the ranger and get it measured. Come to find out, it is a 19 pound, four ounce bass. That is still on the top 25 largest bass of all time. The fish measured out at 28 inches long and 28 inches around. An absolute beast. Now the fish was super stressed out by now and I didn't have a camera. So I asked the uh, ranger if they had a camera and they had a Polaroid up in the station so he comes down and he snaps two Polaroids of the fish. One of them is this. The other one was on display at Lake Miramar for many, many years, and it's still sitting in a drawer in the ranger booth area. Now, I am super proud of that catch, but I can tell you unequivocally that it could have easily have been Brad on that day. It just happened to be my day. Brad saw the fish. <coughs> <coughs> so to answer your question, yes. Now, I got home and ending, ended up getting phone calls the next day from newspapers and magazines that had heard about the catch, and they were all really mad that I only got two Polaroids of the fish. But I really wanted to let it go. The next week, I was fishing on the bank at Lake Miramar, just walking down, and uh, ended up hearing these teenagers talking about this big fish that had been caught the week before. And I listened to them for a while, you know, how the fish had been caught on a live trout. It was, po you know, I was poaching, all kinds of stuff. And after a little while, I ended up going up to them and being like, you know, uh, that's all not true. <laughs> I explained what happened. They were like, whoa. You know what? One of the best fish experiences of my life, especially bass fishing. Super awesome. But I'm ready for my next double digit fish. Maybe it'll come out here today. So this is, this is by far my favorite. My favorite color pattern here at Hodges this time of the year. Sometimes I use a baby bee brush hog, sometimes a beaver, sometimes a craw. I did get a new rod and reel. It's another Kistler. 
Z-Bone, a little bit different weight, a little bit different action, but trying one of their chromium reels. They came out with these cool colors. I'm not a big blue guy, but they got blue, they got turquoise, red, and black, and silver. I like the feel in my hand, that's for sure. It's very light. Nice grips. Cool color. Now I just have to find out if it catches fish. <laughs> Using an eighth ounce Bitsy Bug from Strike King. Hoping we can find some big girls up in the up in the shallows. The more I fish with this chromium reel, I like it. Just want to catch a fish on it. This is a bigger fish. Oh, it's stuck in weeds. I thought it was a bigger fish. First cast on the Ned rig. Fighting. Man, I thought this was a lot bigger fish. I mean, it's not bad, but being huh. fought like a champ. You guys know I like shad wraps. I'm trying the Rapala RS, the rattling suspending shad wrap. It's a two and three quarter inch bait. I met Dave out here and he's been killing them on the little BFS uh, crankbait. I was hoping to see him out here today, but I don't think he was able to make it absolutely destroying them and I wanted to get back to that crankbait bite I had a couple of years ago. We're gonna try something new. Now what I did try with him was an amazing, amazing beverage. You guys gotta check this out. Percent blame. How about Some, that? Someday when I see you on land I'll buy you a beer because I think you might like them. <laughs> <laughs> hey I, I'm about to try something. You want to try something? Yeah. Okay I got I'm, something totally different. I'm a social guy. Are you? <laughs> All right, I've got a sake. I'm in. So, met this guy, Paul, uh, one of the owners, or the owner of uh, Safu Sake, here in San Diego. It's a local brand, but brewed in Japan. So, master brewers. This guy was living in Japan uh, during COVID, and all these master sake brewers were being laid off. So, he hired them, started a company, and now we have our own sake. Brand. That's pretty neat. So, it's pretty cool, actually. We just had a jumper right there and it wasn't a carp. And it wasn't a carp? It wasn't a carp. Wow. <laughs> so let me put this up here. I'll give you the description a little bit later on. But uh there you go. 
Cheers. Awesome. Always great to find somebody who wants to try something. Oh, that's really good. Isn't that just clean and refreshing and just easy drinking? And... This could be trouble. <laughs> right, I know. That's why I brought the little bottle. And oh, I actually no, talked I... to the guy and I said, do you have little bottles? Because if I bring a big bottle out there, I don't know that I'm making it back. I could see where I could see where this would be a very nice afternoon. Right. Not a lot of fishing, maybe a lot of chatting. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, but uh, it's a little bit grassy to me. Um, slightly sweet. Do you get like a maybe a pear? Yep, a little bit yeah. of pear. Yeah, I, pear. Yeah, pear. pear. Yeah. yeah, no, it's. Mm. There, there's going to be a problem with my glass very soon. Right. <laughs> I have a remedy for that. Because then I have a beer for you to have after this, if you're willing to try something. You know, I normally would say yes, but I might want to leave that taste in. Okay. This is really... You're going to post, exceptional. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll... I'll I'm going to dig that one out. Yeah. Well, I don't want to take you... Okay. Just a little bit, yeah. just a touch. Sure. Yeah, I don't think... You know, you know what they say about the last of the bottle, it's next to be hanged or married. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I wanted to do something completely different. I've been hanging on to this for a little while. But, uh, oh, it's so good. This is just delicious. It's right. Just... And who thinks about having sake while they're out fishing? Probably well, people in Japan. Well, I was going to say, I feel like there's a country full of people. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. I've never had sake while I was fishing. However,. I'm going to say I may be a convert. I am. I have all Shimano reels. Oh, and nice. I am doing BFS today. Awesome. So I'm kind of in the club. <laughs> right. I love my Shimano reels. They are. Oh, this is I really... haven't tried any of the BFS Shimano stuff. Here's another thing that you've uh, inspired. Oh, Hissler. Nice. Yeah, so my BFS rods. Is Kistler. that a helium? It is a helium. It's Can a I see it? Yeah, of course. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's it's got a Kistler helium. Nice. That that's, is that's just so... an amazing rod. And and I'm I'm nice. only this is a six pound braid with a four pound leader. That's and, awesome. And that four fifteen, tons of backbone. I had no problem with that's it. That's excellent. Just convinced him to come yes. pretty much right in. Here you go. Have the rest. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna have a beer after this. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Now, I really wanted to find somebody who was actually going to enjoy it and not just... Uh, just a flight. I'm right. Because no, I had it, and I went, wow, this is really good. Really It good. is so nice. Yeah. This is a 15% alcohol. Can't on taste it. Can't taste it at all. It's quite amazing. Not at all. So, check out Safu Sake. And it's, again, local here in San Diego. Super fun hanging out with you, Dave. Hopefully I can get some on this. It's a big fish.
Yeah! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. I've been waiting for that one for a while. Six point one. There we go, guys. That's why we're here, right? Having such a great time out here today. It's getting windy. The storm's coming. We're getting across the uh, lake. try out my new Kistler Chromium Reel on the Z-Bone Rod. You guys gotta check out that company. That's absolutely spectacular day out here. If I get any more fish, they're gonna be bonus fish. <laughs> Cheers guys. See you next time out on the water. fish on the jig today. What? Still a bonus fish. 14. <laughs> That's the number I lost on the last video. Not so many lost today. Wow, I actually know how to fish. Go figure. <laughs>